Lift all leaf. Engine at full thrust. We've cleared the tower. Now 10 seconds into flight. Vehicles begun the pitch over program. Body rate responses look good. Now 15 seconds in. PU's gone to closed loop control. RD-180 looks good at full thrust. Seeing good chamber pressure on both SRBs. Now 26 seconds into flight. RD-180 now throttling down to partial thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. Now 38 seconds in. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Chamber pressures on both SRVs continue to look good. RD-180 engine operating parameters also continue to look good. Now passing one minute into flight. And Mach 1, Alice 5 is now supersonic. And vehicle now throttling up. Engine response looks good. Continue to see good chamber pressure on both SRBs. One minute, 20 seconds into flight. Body rate responses on the vehicle look good. One minute, 30 seconds in. Standing by for SRB burnout. And we have burnout on both solid rocket boosters. Atlas will hold on to the SRBs for an additional 48 seconds prior to jettison. RD-180 has gone back up to full thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. One minute, 50 seconds in. Atlas is now 17 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Now passing two minutes into flight. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good at full thrust. And at 2 minutes 11 seconds into flight, the Atlas rocket now weighs just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. And we've seen good indication of jettison of both solid rocket boosters. Vehicle's gone to closed loop guidance. Now just under 2 minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. 2 minutes 35 seconds into flight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Engine's now throttling down slightly. Engine response looks good. And Atlas 5 is now traveling at over five times the speed of sound. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. System response looks good. Three minutes, 10 seconds into flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 80 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now one minute remaining until engine cutoff. Body rate responses continue to look good throughout the booster phase of flight. And RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 3.5G acceleration limit. Engine responses will all look good. Three minutes, 55 seconds into flight. And Centaur's begun the boost phase chill-down sequence. 20 seconds to Biko. RD-180 continuing to look good as it throttles to maintain that constant 3.5G acceleration limit. Atlas PU has gone to open loop in preparation for BECO. And standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on both RL-10 engines. Chamber pressures look good on both engines.
and standing by for aeroskirt jettison. And we have good indication of aeroskirt jettison. Centaur now resuming active attitude control after successful aeroskirt jettison. Chamber pressures on both RL-10 engines continue to look good. Now passing 5 minutes 30 seconds into flight. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. And we have good indication of separation of the OFT capsule.